Everyone to this day knows what my son Len Bias did in this building. He brought so much hope, so much joy, so much contentment, excitement, exhilaration to the fans. He bought that power with him, the non-marketable power that money cannot buy. Bias from outside, and he got it. Len Bias with 29. Oh, my! And he made the steal in a jam! What a play by Bias! Holy cow! I have a feeling that I'm not the only one in these videos tonight who is going to find it strange that I'm sitting on a football field here. I'm looking at you, Gary. I'm Dr. Lanice Bias. I am the mother of the late Len Bias, the University of Maryland basketball player. I can remember being seated on this side of Cole Field House and Len getting ready to shoot a free throw and looking around while he was bending over to see where we were and nodding his head. I thought about all of the games, the wins and the losses, and the beautiful season that we had here at Maryland watching Len play. I kind of wish he could have played for Gary. Because <laughs> Gary would have loved to have had this guy. He could jump out of Cole Field House. He was one of the great defenders. He, went, he had leaping ability, he had the quickness, he had the athleticism. And Greg and I doing the ball games, we watch him make plays that were just unbelievable. I mean, soaring over the basket. There are fathers telling their sons about Len Bias. I cannot believe it. There is still ongoing conversations in barber shops and wherever men are gathered and they're talking about sports. Who's the best, Len or Michael Jordan? His athleticism, the way he played with such little effort was unmatched. And without question, he belongs in the Hall of Fame. And his mother has said on more than one occasion, he may be bigger in death than he was in life because of the messages to the young people about staying away from drugs, stay away from it. Well, I can't tell you the people that have walked up to me as I've traveled throughout the country and say, your son's death changed my life. So in death, he brought life to so many. 36 years later, people are still calling my son's name. It is so heart-wrenching that people still remember him and want to honor him in spite of how he passed. And so on behalf of our family, we are just delighted. I thank God that my family and I lived to see this moment.